it's Tamara. Welcome to the special Royal Windsor edition of Show Jumping Unplugged. We're back in Windsor, England at the Royal Windsor Horse Show and it is an absolutely glorious day today. So uh, why don't you join me and Paul and we'll take you around and show you some of the sights and sounds that are Royal Windsor. Let's check in with the boys. Happy to be here. And tell me what it's like to be in Windsor. Well, it's it's exciting in light of you know the wedding and all that. It's um, no, it's beautiful here. The castle is amazing, and the atmosphere here is uh, like nothing we ever see really at home. So it's it's a great show. I highly recommend it to anybody who who wants to come over and have a lot of excitement and everything to do. There's driving going on. There's ponies. There's everything. It's been exciting. Now tell me about your students that you brought with you. Well, I've got two of the many that we have over yeah. standing with me now. This is Harrison Shore and this is Jessica Springsteen. And they both just <laughs> competed in this meter 40 class and, and uh, both had good rounds, not winning yet, but, but good. This is, a, we thought, a great show to start the season. This is the first show for all of them. And uh, it's close to where we're based, which yeah. is in uh, Warwickshire. Yeah. And uh, it's nice. It's good footing. We've got the Olympic course builder here. and. Uh, Jessica and um, Catherine Passmore are heading off next week to do the Young Rider uh, team thing. So we thought this would be a nice warm up for that. Cool. And Harrison's here for the summer and this is the beginning of our tour. Right on. Well, you couldn't be in better hands. You're the <laughs> I don't know. Huh? That's, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, you want to say hi to everybody at home? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Oh. We miss you. <laughs> Part of the thing about going to Windsor is the shopping. Now, one of the things that you need at Windsor is a bowler. In case you don't know what a bowler is, this is a bowler. Pretty crazy. Let's check this out. I love shopping at Windsor. Is that it? Is it working? I think it's working. All right. Let's go to the camera.
everybody getting excited about the Olympics? Is, uh, we, don't, we don't get excited. We just cope with it. <laughs> I'm Jeff Billington, and you're watching Show Jumping on Plug TV. London 2012, looming 14 months away. Your thoughts? A lot can happen in 14 months. I would say the only, the, the only one that is nearest to definite will be Nick Skelton, I would say, because he's got two fantastic young horses. And even if one, you know, if, if one injured itself, whatever, he's, he's got another one just as good. And what are your thoughts as possible teammates for him? Yeah, I will, um, Robert Smith, Laura Rennick, Tina Fletcher, uh, as, as well as all, all the obvious ones. It's open at the moment. And what does this mean for England as a nation, the uh, Olympics coming here? It would here? be unbelievable to jump, you know, in your own country and the Olympic Games. I don't think I've got a horse for it, but it, I'm lucky I've already been to two Olympics, but it would be fantastic in your own country. Yeah, and is everybody pretty excited about the uh, Olympics every, coming yeah, here? Yeah, everybody wants it. Now, how far are we from the Olympic showgrounds here in Windsor? Uh, I would say probably 15, 20 miles. Right, right. And now, will a lot of the Olympiads be coming to Windsor first in preparation for the Games? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they will, yeah. So the Jubilee is going to be quite a special affair, yeah. you know, luring a lot of international uh, cachet and yeah. uh, show jumping riders right yeah. now. All right, let's go check this out. This is sure to be a four wheel drive adventure right here, right now at Windsor Castle. Again, right here in Windsor Castle. I'm Paul Peterson. Stay tuned for more Show Jumping Unplugged TV right here, right now.